Hi guys, it's me Tiffany, also known as Taco Tiffy, and welcome to Tea with Tiff. I absolutely love having afternoon tea. Hey, hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have an introduction here. The words of Mary Lou Heiss, a simple cup of tea is far from a simple matter. Especially if you consider the other things that matter these days. Number one being obviously the taste of the food, the ambiance, the service, the presentation, the other things that constitute a good afternoon tea experience. Therefore, I'm looking for excellent places to while an afternoon away and have afternoon tea. Starting with TWG in Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. background, TWG was established as a Singaporean subsidiary under the Wellness Group, which is what TWG stands for. If you're surprised, as was I, this whole time I thought TWG was some sort of British place, kind of like Twining's Tea, but no, it's just right across the border in Singapore. However, the thing that's really interesting to me is that TWG was established in 2008. The reason why this is interesting is because on all the TWG signs, you see the year 1837. So, what gives? According to their website, instead of making it sound like a year of origin, TWG uses 1837 to indicate the year that Singapore was a popular trading site for tea. I don't know man, it sounds like kind of sketchy marketing. And this was also brought up in a lawsuit that happened in Hong Kong. One of the things that was raised in this legal suit was that TWG was sued in Hong Kong by a competitor tea company that also had the initials TWG. Which is why in Hong Kong, instead of the alphabets TWG, the name of the company is actually TWG. Pretty clever, I have to say. One of the things that was noted was that the judge mentioned the date 1837 in TWG's sign actually misled the public to think that this company was established in 1837. And in justification, the firm's spokesman said it was a tribute to when the Chamber of Commerce was founded. The, the case itself did not actually debate as to whether that was problematic. But I don't know, I mean, does it change your view of TWG? Let me know in the comments. Without further ado, let's go on to the food itself. I had a TWG afternoon tea session in Pavilion Kuala Lumpur and had an excellent time. We went for this menu, which was a lot more affordable than the normal afternoon tea set. So surprisingly for both of us, the final cost totaled to less than 50 ringgit, which I think is an absolute steal for such a beautiful environment. We had several options to choose from and I chose the scone which was absolutely delicious. It was so buttery, it came with this glorious and delicious tea jelly. Wasn't too sweet, just a subtle taste of tea. Really really recommend it. In addition to that, we had a dessert that was rich and delicious. Highly highly decadent, you get this glorious flavour of chocolate. Mmm, really really enjoyed that one as well. We can pour two, is that okay? Oh uh, yeah, can already. The macaron, however, was a complete letdown. They didn't have the flavour we originally wanted. So we ended up trying the caramel one, which I thought was just okay. You didn't really taste any tea flavour. It was it was underwhelming. But for five ringgit a piece, I think it was it was an okay expenditure. So let's talk about the sandwiches. This set came with unlimited free flow sandwiches. And I think that was an incredible steal. We had great sandwiches that was smoked salmon, there was coronation chicken, there was ham and cheese. All of them were really, really yummy. However, the reason why they were so confident to tell us that it was free flow is probably because it's extremely, extremely slow service. We waited for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes in between each sandwich order, which I don't think is too bad if you're really just there to spend some time. But if you're hungry, I mean, it's, it's not the best experience. At the end of the day, the highlights of this visit was definitely the tea jelly, very, very much a must try. The dessert was excellent. And, and the ambiance, oops, I got a phone call. And the ambiance was pretty nice as well.
in all, I would give this TWG experience a solid 7 out of 10. It's not too pricey for what it was. There were definitely a few standouts such as the scones and the desserts, as well as the choice of having unlimited sandwiches really made it such a worthwhile offer. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed Tea with Tiff. Please let me know in the comments if there's anywhere else you would like me to visit and I will be happy to go. See you guys next time. Bye!